your car's performance is dependent on a number of variables coming together. The automatic transmission, which transfers power from the engine to the wheels, is one crucial part. If the vehicle won't move in any automatic transmission gear, there are some problems that must be fixed. We examine the causes of your inability to move your car in this brief video. We also provide you with some advice on how to diagnose it. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Lack of transmission fluid. Low transmission fluid levels are among the most frequent causes of transmission problems. To keep the gears shifting and keep the car moving forward, the transmission fluid is required. There might be a transmission fluid leak that needs to be repaired. The transmission fluid dipstick can be used to check the fluid level and, if necessary, top it off. Additionally, you should fix any transmission leaks as soon as possible to prevent the transmission from suffering long-term harm. This might be the simplest and least expensive way to fix your car, in some ways. Defective Transmission Control Unit In some circumstances, it is simple to identify a faulty transmission control unit because it might indicate the wrong gear on the dashboard. Even though the RPMs are rising, the car doesn't seem to shift gears when the transmission control unit is malfunctioning. It might also be completely unsuccessful. However, a failing battery can also result in this system not functioning properly because it lacks the necessary power. Start by making sure the battery in your car is fully charged. You might need a new transmission control unit if that isn't the issue. These components can be hard to reach and need to be serviced by a qualified technician. Have a professional look if you're not sure. Check to make sure your parking brake is not on as well. It's simple but silly mistake to make. Bad shift solenoid or valve body. When the shift solenoids function, fluid flows through hydraulic channels in the valve body of the transmission. Over time, the shift solenoids may degrade and dirty transmission fluid may clog the valve body channels. Vibrations that occur when the gear shift will become apparent when the valve body fails. The car can stall as well. When the situation gets bad enough, the car won't move at all. Regrettably, the valve body or the shift solenoid cannot simply be replaced. Give yourself plenty of time to complete the task because you need to drop the transmission pan. Clogged transmission filter. A filter in the transmission prevents damaging contaminants and dust from entering the system. If you don't replace the filter as part of routine maintenance, you are allowing debris to accumulate inside. This behavior will eventually result in a clogged transmission filter. You can hear whining as the transmission filter becomes clogged. You might be able to drive occasionally before it stops again while it's getting worse. Generally speaking, the transmission filter needs to be changed every 30,000 miles or every two years, whichever comes first. However, for your specific vehicle's recommended intervals, consult your owner's manual. This is a good place to start if you haven't done it recently and are experiencing transmission problems. Changing the fluid at the same time would also help to maintain the health of your transmission. Thankfully, changing the transmission fluid doesn't cost much to do. Worn out clutches. Similar to a manual transmission, an automatic transmission has clutches. The automatic car won't move if the clutches are worn out. The clutch discs connect the transmission to the engine, so when they malfunction, they can be very problematic. During gear changes, there might be a blowing or grinding sound before the car comes to a complete stop. Additionally, you might observe a rougher transition between gears. It is not simple to replace the worn clutch discs. You must remove the transmission and a number of components to finish the job, as with many automatic transmission faults. Get some assistance if you don't know how to do this. Failed Torque Converter Due to improper maintenance of the transmission, the torque converter frequently fails. You risk having a bad torque converter if you use poor transmission fluid, neglect to perform changes, leave the dirty filter in place, and ignore the warning signs that it needs maintenance. Before the car stops moving, you might notice some symptoms as the converter starts to fail. It may initially make odd noises, especially when first starting. As the car warms up, the noises might stop. However, as the condition worsens, it will begin to stall. The torque converter is typically a costly component. Additionally, since the transmission needs to be taken out, repairs can take the entire day. Bad gear position sensor or shifter. There could be issues if the transmission control unit receives the incorrect signal from the gear position sensor or switch. Your car won't move, for instance, if the gear is in drive or first gear but TCM believes it to be in neutral. However, you can usually tell if this is happening by looking at the dashboard of your car and determining whether the gearbox matches the gear position. How to Diagnose Automatic Transmission Problems Here are some suggestions you can use if you want to solve the issue on your own. Check the transmission fluid first. Fill it up if it's low. When the fluid level is low, you must search for leaks. Overnight, place a piece of cardboard under the car to identify the source of the leak. 
It's time to change the transmission fluid and filter if you haven't already. To see if the filter was clogged, check it. Verify the shifter to make sure it displays the appropriate gear on the dashboard. Using an OBD2 scanner, check the transmission control module's trouble codes for any indications of the valve body or shifter solenoid. Observe directions and resolve any transmission-related error codes. Check the battery voltage if all other attempts have failed. The control unit may experience issues if the battery is not charged. Take the vehicle to a qualified shop if, after trying these steps, you are still unable to identify the issue. With the aid of specialized diagnostic tools, mechanics who work on transmissions can identify issues more quickly and fix them. If your car needs a transmission rebuild, you shouldn't attempt it without a transmission jack and other specialized tools in your garage.